Hello everyone, I'm back with my part two of no hair, don't care. I wanted to basically show you the tools that I use to um, cut my hair. I use the Andes, um, the outliner too, because it comes in different um, things. It comes in like a trimmer and it comes in this, but the one that I use is the outliner too. Because the other one comes in like a trimmer and the um, teeth on it come out a little bit wider. But this one here, as you can see, it's just like an um, edger. And, well, it's this trimmer, but it's like an edger and no guard or anything. I don't use any guard on it. I use a brush. Um, you know, as I'm trimming my hair, I go through, like I've been to barber school, right? Like I've been to somebody in barber school. But um, I'm going through, you know, and doing that little thing and then I use the Andis Cool Care Plus. Now what I do with this is I'll spray it on prior to trimming my hair. What this basically does, it helps to cool the clippers just in case you're going to go on for a long period of time. So I'll spray this on before and I spray it on after. Um, am I talking loud? When I spray it after, I'm um, getting like the extra hair out of the trimmers, you know, that I've, you know, you want to keep your clippers clean and stuff like that. You don't want any type of bacteria or infections or anything um, building up on your scalp. So I do that and that's pretty much it. Oh, also another thing that I do, that's, that's my whole little setup. Another thing that I do is I put a towel over my sink because I cut my hair in the restroom. So I put a towel over my sink so that the cleanup isn't so much, so much once I'm done. So I like to do that. Um, and then I go ahead and get started. Let's see. Like I said, I go ahead and spray the clippers first. And also, when I was talking in part the um, part one video, I was mentioning, um, and I just basically I spray spray them just a little bit. Um, in the part one video, I was mentioning that. Um, ah, what did I mention? Um, oh my goodness, I forgot. But anyway, in the part one video, I don't know. Oh, thank you. I remember when I was talking about the directions of my the direction that my hair grows, you know, it looks pretty simple. And it is, you know, once you learn it, you have this growing here, this kind of going that way and that going down and you go against the way the direction of the hair. So, of course, I'm kind of just I kind of normally start the same way all the time. I don't know if I'm going to show you the entire cut and then also the way my swirly goes. If I'm going to get a chance to show you that. But I, um, I normally start here on the side. So, of course, you guys are down here. But I'm going to look in the bigger mirror so I can see what I'm doing. And as you can see, I'm just going up against the hair. Now, this is a week. And I normally, like I said, I normally do it on Monday. Today is actually, what's today? Thursday. Because I wanted to do this video for you guys. So I was waiting till I had time. And then the white flakes are normal. You see how I'm kind of going at an angle? I know it looks weird. You're like, girl, your scalp is really ashy. And that's why I really enjoy doing it. And it really doesn't take me that much time to do it. That's the cool thing I really think about it. And here's my brush. That's what I use this for. To clean off the excess hair. Excess hair. And I just keep going. And as you can see, I'm already almost done with the first half.
And here's my other side I come to. Another method, another thing that I do once I'm done, I'll run my fingers over, I'll run my hand over it to make sure I don't feel any extra pricklies. And I go back over with the clippers on that part of it too. Another thing that I use my brush for is my scalp. Brushing off the extra hair so that I can see if I miss the spot. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this back for you guys to show you how I do my back. See, like I'll do this. And I know it's flakes. All of that is falling down. But as soon as I'm done, I shampoo it, so. And as you can hear that sound, that's another indicator that hair is still there and that you still need to continue trimming that part. If you can still hear, see how you can't really hear that, but watch when I go against hair. Yeah. All right, now to the back mirror, of course, so that I can see what I'm doing back here. <laughs> See, I already got the top part. And remember, I was talking about my swirly up there. How I have to co go different directions to get it to cut. And I'll probably trim this video so that it's I know some of you probably want to see it, but then some of y'all are like, okay, you seen one haircut, you seen them all. And remember I was mentioning I kind of go up because this is kind of growing down and at an angle. Another thing I mentioned um, is that it's it's just a really low maintenance hairstyle and I just really enjoy, I really am enjoying this right now. And I think I enjoy it even more that I can do it myself. You probably wonder what I put on the floor. I don't put anything on the floor to catch the hair um, once I'm done because my, most of the hair is being caught here on this towel. So normally when I'm done, I just um, sweep the floor up. It's just normally like a couple of, piece of pieces of hair that hits the ground. But other than that, it's not even a messy cleanup or anything like that. Now you have to be careful. I don't know if, I guess this is a tutorial or me just wanting to show you guys how I do my hair. But if you ever decide to do this and start trimming your own hair, be careful not to dig the clippers in. The clippers are going to do what they do. So be careful not to dig it into your scalp. Um, you don't want to, you know, damage your scalp or hurt yourself. But yeah, you can just lay it up against it and it, you know, it'll basically cut itself. Now, as you can see, I still have this here in my little swirly section. I still have hair. I still have Sorry about that. My video cut off. Now 
Once again, the hair grows in different directions, so you have to figure out which direction it grows and go against that direction. And I jump, normally I jump right in the shower once I'm done. And, um, but for the purpose of this video, see how I'm looking at the top, making sure I didn't miss any spots. Behind the ear is a tricky area. Also, you have to make sure you get behind your ear. And I was telling you guys that I run my hand over it now, kind of making sure, seeing if I missed anything anywhere. I have little calyx here on the sides. So this, these sides are a little bit thinner than the rest of the hair. Make sure I get, is that called a willow's peak? What is that right there in the front? I think that's what it's called and see I missed that behind my ear right there for that this is what I was gonna say for the purpose of this video I'm gonna just um I'm gonna still get in the shower and rinse this off but for the purpose of this video I am going to run a towel over it a wet towel so that you can kind of see um, what it looks like. That my scalp isn't really this color. That you can kind of see what it looks like once I cut it all off. Yeah. Oh, I love it. I do, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Yes, I do. I normally don't do the towel thing. I, like I said, I normally jump in the shower, let the water run over it, run, put a little shampoo on it. I even condition it also. Because although there is no hair, you still want to take care of the scalp. You still want to take care of the scalp. Some of you might be asking, will I ever do like a ball ball like with a blade or something like that? I don't know. I hadn't thought about that. But um, I'm really enjoying this. I know that. Yeah. Yes, so I might have some spots that I need to go back over, but I just wanted to, for the, like I said, for the purpose of this video, I just wanted to show you guys how I cut it and what it looks like once I cut it. Yes, and I see a couple of spots that I need to go over again. Yeah, but that's it. Hope you guys enjoyed it. I will talk to you guys later. This is your girl, Napsphilia. Peace out.